Hi, it is the human operating system time. So today I like to share with you something really important. Many people might shock watching this video. However, this is the reality. This is the truth. And uh, if we do not face this truth, we will not be able to get the most out of our learning, our studying, our practice. So, uh, what happened is I am in the process of writing a book called Wing Chun Kuo. Wing Chun Kuo. So, what is the Wing Chun Kuo is about? Wing Chun Kuo is taking the Wing Chun Xiu Lin Tao of 1850, map it into today's sport science. As uh, you guys know that uh, the Wing Chun matrix, I map the momentum, the short strike into momentum and momentum zone. And the Wing Chun core is to map the uh, training of the uh, Xiu Lin Tao 1850, the core training of it, or the body condition part of the training of it into science. So you know exactly what's going on. So in other words, that Wing Chun Kuo is actually actually uh, another phase of the uh, Wing Chun Matrix, where Wing Chun Matrix talk about the momentum, and Wing Chun Kuo talk about the conditioning. Okay. Now, with today's science, with today's science, we actually can do this mapping really clearly now, because. Today's sport science have evolved into a really high level, okay, the sport science. And in 1850s, the Wing Chun ancestor also have those level, and now they match. So, as the other day in my other video, I'm talking about the five heart rate zone of training so five heart rate zone you can wrap it out to three type of region the first region is the recovery the second is the aerobic the third is the anaerobic okay guess what the Chinese, the traditional Chinese martial arts, which is applied to Wing Chun 1850, have this three zone which is can which is parallel, can map into each other. The recovery zone of today's or the recovery regions of today's sports science is equal willing to the Qigong part of the traditional Chinese martial art training. What we call soft, soft, soft style today is actually the aerobic region type of training. What we call hard style training or hard training actually that name hard training or hard style is uh, it is a different thing in this case it is actually better to understand it as intense training okay so the intense training map right away to the anaerobic region of the sport science. So, a complete Wing Chun or complete any traditional Chinese martial arts. You will have the Qigong part, you have the 
uh, soft part you have the intense part which is mapped into today's modern science the recovery part the aerobic part and the anaerobic part it match now okay now so what is the soft style soft style today's is an incomplete descriptions of the uh, traditional Chinese martial arts there is no such thing as soft style the soft style people presenting today as oh you know I do soft I do fajing I do internal power that is just the condition part conditioning part of the traditional Chinese martial arts system which is equivalent to the aerobic part now if you want to go fighting anybody who do training now fighting is in the anaerobic region or anaerobic part you like it or not it need to get to that intensity that type of heart rate between 80% to 100% of your heart, heart rate maximum heart rate okay now the Chinese the ancient Chinese sometimes they say this is a hard style when they say that this is a hard style it just means that a style which do not have a complete uh, qigong and the soft conditioning part meaning that one is you know in today's language one is just go for anaerobic while do not know about the recovery and aerobic part that's what hard, hard style mean incomplete okay and soft style today where missing the anaerobic part is also incomplete so actually the real deal traditional Chinese martial arts like Wing Chun per 1850s Siulin Pao Kui it has all these three parts it has the recovery in today's language recovery part or the Qigong part it has the aerobic part which is the soft part and then it has the anaerobic part which is the intense part okay so here on we need to be careful on this ex uh, external style or hard style and uh, soft style stuff this this stuff uh, if it's not clear it is trouble okay so soft style never never ever can replace hard style it's like aerobic training will never never uh, replace anaerobic training okay get that clear okay reverse my video to get this thing clear now the issue is if anybody want to fight this regard of what they need to train in that anaerobic zone with the heart rate between 80 to 100 like it or not it is like that okay and what we see usually doing chi sao or push hand fa jing those are just aerobic which is the heart rate under 80 percent in general it is not like the MMA guy, the Western boxing, the Thai boxing, the Kyokushin, where you go zoom into the ana uh, anaerobic. Okay, you train that. That's fighting. Now, if you say that you go to fight in the street, well, any fighting, the characteristic is anaerobic. It is not that you know you cannot have a fighting in the aer uh, aerobic 
oh, push this. No. And the four momentum zone I mentioned here, which is from General Chi Chi Kuang, is talk about the anaerobic, the anaerobic zone of momentum handling, where you have the four momentum zone, the long face, the short strike, the uh, the, uh, the, 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 the takedown zone, the ground zone. And everything is just momentum, dynamic, high speed. Okay? In fighting, there is no such thing as soft. It is momentum play. So Chi Chi Kuang, the riding, 16, uh, 1560, is about that. The screw up this past 100 years or 150 years is that somebody tried to promote this their internal art or whatever so they make it like a, a people can just practice this soft and then uh, fudging and then all this kind of thing they call it internal and then this can uh, 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 replace everything in the world well the reality is not if you look into the Shaolin short strike canon where I, uh, I code it here in the in the momentum uh, I, I, I think I, I code it here if I'm not wrong the Shaolin training yeah page 73 which is the second criteria of the momentum okay the second criteria of the momentum uh, the impulse momentum realization the second criteria, the short side canon, it said that while practicing fighting, one must apply full power and full force. That is an aerobic zone. It is no longer the chi sao or the twist of uh, 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 range, which is aerobic the most. Okay, so we need to get this clear. So, so by signs, not by Hendrik say, okay, don't put, put me aside. By signs, you, you look into the ancient Chinese culture uh, and uh, the, 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 the classic, you look in today's and you look in the reality, you know that already. There's no way you say I want to go chi sao and it's good for street. There's no way I say I do twizzle and have this magic to go for straight. Anybody fought in MMA, in Kyokushin, in Thai boxing, in Western boxing, no. When you get into the anaerobic zone for fighting, your heartbeat race more than 80% right away and then you cannot stand much uh, long for that. Okay. So 80 to 90 probably can uh, uh, spend some time on that, but uh, when you go from 90 to 100 extreme in fighting, we cannot last long. Now, if we never train in that, how can we, 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 we do that? How, how can we have the body to go into the anaerobic zone to perform a dynamic, continuous, high-speed impulse momentum handling of the four momentum zone? The answer is no, you cannot do it. It's science, okay? Because if your heart, your cardio respiratory system never trained that, you'll not be able to do it. It's a reality, okay? Well, if you say, well, fighting in the street. Well, fighting in the street is going, going up there too because everything is so intense, right? Anaerobic meaning is intense. So, there's a reality. Now, if one training so-called internal art, like a practice Julian Tao, uh, using our mind power, this power, that structure, Forget about it. When you get up to the anaerobic zone, your heart rate is not trained. The cardio is not trained at that thing. And there is no uh, four momentum, momentum zone handling. 
How are you going to face the MMA guy? You can. Okay? And also, when people say, well, it's internal chi, well, on the other hand, on the recovery part, if one is not trained to get the breathing and the heart rate synchronized, which is the heart rate variability uh, uh, improvement or increasing or co coherent those type of range, there is no good training for recovery for the uh, the handling of the uh, sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system which is the heart rate variability okay so in qigong any qigong in need to get into that natural resonance uh, breathing where i mentioned here okay in fighting you need to get to the momentum zone with the ability or the body prepare for the uh, anaerobic play in the anaerobic zone. So traditional Chinese martial is not really clear. The qigong, the soft for conditioning and aerobic, and the intense for the anaerobic high speed momentum play it's not like this hand technique tan sao that hand technique bong sao no it's everything go it's like the mma everything go it is momentum play and that's what exactly is as what chi chi guang say so the soft style today when people say soft style internal style actually is an incomplete thing because if you don't have anaerobic training it doesn't it's not a martial art a full martial art per traditional chinese martial art definition and also it it, it doesn't cover the five uh, heart rate zone or the western sports recovery aerobic anaerobic range of uh, training and then if one just doing those so-called hard style that is just meaning that one just do not have the recovery and the aerobic uh, training. One go direct to the uh, anaerobic. And of course, in, even in today's sports science, those type of stuff which have a heavy training load without recovery is damaging to the body. Okay. So this is really clear now. And... Uh, I share with you this is because you don't have to buy my book Wing Chun Core. I don't know when it's going to come out. But I'm going to map that into the, the, the modern signs. And then like the Qigong part, I'm going to do, 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 do describe to show how is that thing practiced, get into the natural resonance and all this kind of thing. What does it mean by Xing Qi Du Dan Tian? What does it mean by uh, by uh, by 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 following the chi, the chi and the breathing. What what does it mean? How to do that? So at least that people know what is that in that uh, in that uh, 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 qi gong and the soft part. Know the mechanics and significance of the body conditioning. Okay, of of the Wing Chun, eighteen fifties. So then, then with this book, two books, it will cover what is going on there. Okay. So I'm writing, but you know, it's right. I hate writing. If I have a secretary like a before in the corporate, it's better. And I'll just tell you what it is. This is right. Because then you have the English and some, somebody will always pick about English and you know I, I work with this editor, that editor, and then everybody have the different opinion, blah blah blah. You know, writing writing those things is I don't like those kind of stuff. But so today I, I tell you this, okay? So be careful. If one do not have the uh, anaerobic range of training, forget about fighting. Forget about it. 
and uh, if uh, we really don't have the, uh, the the synchronize of the breathing and the breathing uh, the breathing and the heart rate the uh, to, to improve the heart rate variability then we don't have qigong so so the natural resonance breathing in this book which is the basic of the uh, of the uh, sing qi to dan tian and then the two c the two c state in this book that is to develop the the the, the breathing the cardio the breathing the cardio synchronization and so forth the body so that one be able condition it so one be able to handle the anaerobic better when they go to anaerobic anybody who, who have the three uh, two c state okay anybody who have the two c state have the two c state you can they can tell you right away they can go to a class while everybody is sweating and so forth they still work the same as before but before and after the uh, the, 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 the development of the 2c state they are no longer that tired and uh, that uh, out of breath okay so meaning that they can handle something better than what they do before and that is actually prepare one to get into the uh, anaerobic state and in anaerobic you know everything goes it's a momentum play it's a look like fighting okay fighting is intense so this is what i like to share with you today okay so uh, this is the truth the truth traditional chinese martial arts disregard of style need to face and of course this is uh, wing chun is uh, traditional chinese martial arts it has to face this so one need to know so what what, what is your set trainings about if you say, wow, train Xiu Lim Tao, wow, can you get to recovery? Heart rate variability handling, like I showed you guys the other day, you know, in another video. Using heart rate variability to verify the Xing Qi to Tan Tian, can you do it? Okay. And you say, wow, well, you know, uh, you go up to the, uh, the, the, the anaerobic, wow, well, did, did, us train our body to be able to handle the anaerobic are we thinking we sitting uh, standing there doing chi sao and then we will be able to handle somebody who have trained in anaerobic for example the mma player they have the anaerobic and they have the four momentum momentum zone training how are we going to force uh, to face those who have anaerobic training and the four momentum zone training with just uh, ordinary aerobic training who do no recovery do not know recovery and have not know about the anaerobic training and with the aerobic training Aerobo, uh, aerobic uh, uh, range of training it's just simple exercise it's a reality so this is for you today i know uh, many will will not like this or not like what i'm saying but uh that's what i mentioned now it's really clear now from the ancient Chinese classical and practice and knowing the people who describe who, 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 who show me things and today's sports science we know it fused together because human fighting is only human you need the recovery aerobic and anaerobic training and the four momentum zone training so for momentum zone is in this book the wing chun core is about the talking about this 
recovery, aerobic and anaerobic, but focus in the recovery and aerobic. The basic of it, so we know what the ancient talking about. As what I'm uh, uh, interested is in education, so we know what it is, we can improve it. So the key is not to put any lineage down or any system down. The key is let's have a good education so everybody win, because everybody can progress from it. So this is for you today.